Hello everyone, I'm Ed from Soloed Quest. Welcome. Uh, today I want to show you a playthrough of the Lost Expedition um, with the solo uh, variant. Okay, so this is a game based on Percy Fawcett's expedition to, to find El Dorado, um, that uh, expedition that eventually yeah, became, became lost. In this game, uh, we are trying to, well, change the course of history and uh, yeah, actually find El Dorado. Um, well, maybe they did. We don't. We don't really know. But he here's the map already set up. So how do you play the solo variant? It's very. Uh, it's very similar to the co-op experience. So you pick up all of the nine um, map tiles and you place them, okay, in order. So that's our little meeple, and we, uh, which represents our expedition. And we will have to travel through each of these nine map tiles, okay, in order to eventually find the lost city. Of Z, El Dorado. Okay, so you take your nine map um, cards, you place them in order. You take your little token here for morning and evening. You place it right. I usually place it here at the end of the of the map. We will we will be doing. We will be creating. And you take <coughs> three explorers, one from each of these specialties. Okay, um, you pick three of these. <coughs> Sorry. And you place three health tokens on each. You also take three uh, food tokens and three bullets for your resource um, pile. Okay, so we are going to start the game with these resources. You will also draw six of the expedition cards. Okay, you place them in your hand. And uh, in terms of setup, this is pretty much all you need to do. You shuffle up the remaining explorer cards and you just leave them here by your side and have a little um, a little pile of um, more tokens just in case you, you we happen to stumble upon more food or more bullets or eventually more health, which is uh, very unlikely, but hey, who knows? Because uh, this game is hard. I'll tell you right away, it is hard. I'm pretty sure we are not getting to Eldorado, but oh well, who knows? Let's see how it goes. So, how do we start this? Okay, so... There's the morning phase and then there's the evening phase, okay? And they play uh, very differently from each other. So we are starting in our first turn in the morning. So how do you play the morning? So first of all, let's just take a look at the cards in our hand. Okay, so we have the Chavante, the Path Ahead, which is not a bad card. We also have the Kapok, we have the Chinguano, by the way, beautiful art here in this game, I love the art, the artwork in this game, we have a Swarm, which is not a good card at all, and we have some Nightshade. Okay, so, first of all, let me explain you the symbols on these cards, if you're not familiar with the game, uh, you might think, oh, there's a lot of info in the cards, yes. But most of them are choices. You're not uh, looking and resolving every single symbol on these cards. So if you stumble across a yellow symbol, you s you'll see that there are different colors. So there's yellow uh, actions or instructions, some blue ba background uh, instructions or actions and red ones. OK, so the yellow ones, you must resolve every single yellow um, symbol. OK, so let's say here we have one more than one symbol so we have to resolve each and every one of these so when you face uh, red symbols you'll always have more than one red because the reds are a choice you have to choose to resolve one of the red symbols in your card so we would either in here lose a health or lose um, a leaf uh, action or a health from a leaf explorer which I can't remember quite well the, the name of the action itself um, it's ah it's jungle yeah it's jungle um, jungle uh, expertise we call them expertise these little symbols the the tent here is a, a camping expertise and there's also this compass which is a navigation expertise okay so yellows you just you are obliged to do every single one of the symbols the reds, you just choose one of the, um, uh, one of the red uh, possibilities, one of the red rectangles. Here you have three choices. So you, you either would do this or this or this, okay? And then there's the blue ones, like this. 
blue ones, you don't have to do any of them. You are not obliged to do it. You may choose one of the blues to resolve if you want to. So you can pick one of the blues or you could eventually do both of the blues. Okay, so the blue choices are completely optional. You can do all of them. You can do none of them. It's up to you if you have the resources and if it's, uh, it's going to be good for your expedition to, to do them. Okay, so that's what the colors represent. Okay, we're good on that. Now let's talk a little bit about the symbols we can encounter. So every single time we see a symbol um, that has a black background, that means we are gaining something. We, like here, you see, this is the, uh, the symbol for our food. We are gaining a food here. Although our bullet is in white, um, is filled with white, so we are losing one bullet, okay, which is one of these tokens. So if we chose this blue, we would lose one bullet and gain one food. If you see here, the food is in white, which means we are losing one food and gaining one of these uh, camping expertise. If you noticed, our explorers. They have their own expertise, that's why we are using three. So one explorer for each of the expertise, so one uh, navigation, one camping, and one jungle. Um, every time we see a symbol with a white expertise, like this one, for example, this means that we would have to either lose one health from any explorer, or we could use one jungle expertise. Now, this is used either by removing one health from your jungle expert, your jungle expert from the expedition, or if we actually had a card that had this, uh, this jungle expertise symbol filled in black. We don't have any here on our hand, but uh, let's say it, was, it wasn't a leaf, it was a tent, you know, a white tent. Then we could eventually use this card um, for the expertise because it gives us a, a tent, a camping expertise. Um, these cards that have this, this symbol in black, when you uh, actually gain that symbol, we just keep them here on our right and it's, um, it's a resource, let's say, that we can use uh, to advance. So this is a very uh, basic explanation of how the game works. Um, I think it's easier if we do it while, if I'll explain while playing. Let me just arrange my cards here a little bit better. And we can start playing, okay? And I'll show you what each of the symbols do once we are uh, actually resolving them, okay? So, how do we start the game? So, it is morning, and in the morning, what we do, so all the cards in the morning are going to be resolved by uh, numerical order. As you can see, they have a little number here, each of the cards. So, as we are playing cards, we are going to arrange them in numerical order. So, we start this by, and here is the uh, random factor of the game, we start by drawing two cards out of the top of this Expedition Cards deck, okay? So that's one, and that's two, and now we arrange them in the order that we want to, so it would be the eight and then the twenty, okay? Looking at these cards, this one is really, really good, so it's all filled in black, okay? So this is all giving us resources, it's uh, awesome. This one is not so good, so we would have to spend a bullet to gain one food, or we would have to lose two health. And this two health can be uh, divided however we want to. We just have to remove two health tokens from our total uh, health of the expedition. This card is bad, okay? If we could get rid of this card, it would be amazing. Because, I mean, yeah, we don't want this choice, we want this one for sure. But even losing one bullet just to gain one food, it's, it's not a great option. Okay, so basically when we get bad cards, what we have, at least what I, what I look into first is, can I get rid of this? How do we do that? There is a symbol. Uh, we don't have the symbol though. There's a symbol that's, that allows us, oh, actually there is, that allows us to discard um, a card and it's this one. If we choose this um, red square, it means we skip the next card and our expedition moves one space. So we go from here to this, to this tile here, okay? So this is a great symbol. This is uh, what we are kind of looking for. We need to advance nine times, but we have to ensure we're alive at the end of the journey. Okay, so this is a great card because it either advances us and it actually allows us to skip this or we just gain three food, which is amazing. It, it's a great, um, a great card. 
Okay, so I don't want to put anything in between these. So I don't want to play nothing in between 8 and 20 because if I do, then it's going to go right here between and that's the one that's going to get skipped. So let's not do that. Um, hmm. Let's see. I, I would love to skip this. If it, was, if it wasn't bigger than 20, I would actually play this because it's, it's kind of a bad card to be honest. Although I could still do it, hmm. I could still do it, let's see, what else do we have here, I mean this one isn't that bad, we advance, we just need to have a, uh, to spend a navigation expertise to advance, this will allow us to get a camping expertise, so to be honest, these cars aren't that great. Yeah, we kind of drew a little bit badly. I'll just go with this one, okay? So the, the, the deck draws two cards, it plays two cards, and then we play two cards. And again, we have to place them in order. So I'm going to play this number two here. And I will also be playing... Hmm. Do I want to play the five? I don't know. I mean, this, this navigation dude is going to take a few wounds, but... Yeah, I think I'll just play the five. Here we go. Two and a five. Okay, so we played our two cards now. We draw another one from the deck here. And it's a fever. This is not good. This is actually very bad. Okay, so this is the card I want to skip with this. And I will be able to. And I'll tell you how in a second. Okay, so now we play the final card. Hmm. Yeah, so which one do we want to play here? I think I might go with this. I would love to get me those three food, but I would also love to discard that fever because it's going to suck. Huh. But yeah, we are losing a lot of food then. Well, let's just go with this. I say, yeah, let's go with the Kapok tribe. Okay, so... There it is. We always need to uh, fill in our journey uh, with six cards. Okay, so we have six cards here. So this is going to be our morning journey. I will leave the marker right here so I don't forget. Um, because at the end of these six cards, after we resolve them, we have to pay one food. Okay, so this is what we are eating in the morning. We have to get our strength back. So yeah, now after playing these cards, we start resolving them. So we start with this one. The Chinguano tribe. So we have all reds. So we have to pick one of the red options. So this one means we lose uh, two health from our exp expedition members and we get to, to move one. I'm not a fan of this. Losing two health uh, right off the bat is not good. This is a hard game and if we just start uh, losing health uh, like crazy, it's not going to end well, to be sure. So let's, uh, let's go with this. We are... Losing one bullet, okay, so we go into our resource, we discard it, lose one bullet, we get a camping expertise, and this symbol means we get to swap two cards uh, later in the path if we want to. So we could swap the position of two cards, and I'm going to swap these two, because I would much rather discard this fever. Yeah, because the fever we have to lose one health, it's, we are obliged to, it's a yellow, and then we would have to lose um, something else. We could actually use this tent symbol here, but... Hmm. Well, actually, yeah, it's just one health, this would discard one bullet, but we get one food. Yeah, let's, say, let's go with this. Okay, so this is resolved, we've chosen, and we've done all the steps here. So, since we got this uh, expertise symbol, this camping symbol, we are going to place it right here next to our explorers. This is a resource that we will eventually be able to use, okay? If something asks for a camping uh, expertise, we don't need to remove one health from Bessie. We can use this card, okay? By the way, I didn't, uh, I didn't uh, show you uh, properly our, our members. We have Roy here, uh, our jungle experts. We have Bessie, our camping expert, and Candido, our no, sorry, he is navigation, she is camping and jungle. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm counting on you guys. Okay, 
So here we go. Next card, the path ahead. So <clears throat> yellow, we must do this action. It is a symbol, a plus symbol inside the card. This means that we are adding one more card to our path. Okay, so we have to draw another card. Let me move this here. And we have to add it to the end of the path. Now we just add the card. We don't, uh, now we, we are not putting it in numerical order. We just put it on the end of the path. And this is a great one. Yes, thank you. Now we have the blues and uh, we can choose if we want to do this or not. So I could have Candido lose one health because he is our um, navigation expert. And that would move us along the path. Now, do I want to do that? Um, hmm. You know what? I think I do. I think I do. Because we need to, to, to get a move on. So, Candido, you are... I'm sorry, my friend. You just took a little wound there. And we are moving. Here we go. Bam. Only eight to go. Do I want to do this? No, I don't. It's a bullet for one food. That's not the great trade. So, path ahead is uh, resolved, and we just discard it. There it goes. Because it's, it's not giving us any symbol, so it doesn't stay with us. Okay, so now, footprints. Although, I, I mean, I would uh, just love to get those free food. That is lovely. But I really want to get rid of this fever. And besides, it's moving us forward in our path to El Dorado. So, we are going to choose, since it's a red, we are choosing the first red. So, we skip the next card, we just discard it, okay? That's what this does. It is a great ability. And we move forward, so we are moving again, moving along. Unfortunately, we skip those three food. We did not follow the foot footprints fully to be able to hunt whatever left those footprints behind. But still, I don't know, we kind of found the shortcut, I guess, and uh, yeah. It was good nonetheless, so that is done. Next in our card we have Bushmaster, which is a huge uh, snake here. So we have to pick one of these two choices. I am not fond of losing two health, so I am going with the bullet. Okay, we are spending another bullet, but we are gaining one food from killing this gigantic snake. So we have four food right now. Goodbye Bushmaster, you are dead. We have resolved this one as well. Now, <clears throat> the Kapok, they are giving us uh, no choices, so we have to do the yellow one. We are obliged to, we need to lose one food, but we are gaining the tent symbol, the, um, the camping expertise. So we lose one food, there it goes, that Bushmaster. And we get this card, okay? And we can choose to do this section if we want to, because it's a blue one. Um, we would have to lose a navigation expertise. We could gain one health, which is not bad. But and we would draw the um, remove. This is a minus on a card. So if you remember, the plus means we add a card to the end. The minus means we remove one, the last card. Okay, so we would just remove this card. Um, I don't want to do this, although the health would be great. It's being removed from Candido, which already took a wound, and yeah. Not a big fan of it. So, Kapok, you are done. And now, for the last card in our path, we can uh, either get two food or one health. So I could get uh, Candido's health back or just get two food. Honestly, I'm going with the food. Yeah, I'm discarding this tent. Okay, right there. Discarding it and I'm going to get two food back. There you go. Okay, so... This clearing is done. We've completed our morning path and now we have to pay at the end of the morning one food because that's uh, what we have to eat to struggle on. Okay, so that is done. The morning phase is complete and now we go into the evening. So we flip this around, okay. We will have to pay a food again at the end of the evening, but uh, it's just a, a, a reminder. Okay, now the evening plays a little different. Um, in the evening, we play, it's not two cards at a time, we play one at a time, and the order is not in numerical order. It, I'll, I'll show you, it's better if I show you than to explain you. So, I am going to play one of my cards right now, okay? Let's say I want to play this. 
Now what happens is I can choose to play another one of my cards or I can choose to draw one from the deck. And whichever I choose, either one from my hand or one from the deck, I can choose if I'm placing it on the right or on the left of the existent path, okay? So this isn't going to be in numerical order. I am actually choosing where to place it. Is it going first or is it going last on our path here? So I have a few bad cards here. So I'm actually hoping that I can draw uh, something from the deck that allows me to skip uh, the next card, okay? So that's why I am going to choose to, re to draw from the deck. And I want to place it after this because I don't want to risk um, placing it here and then skipping uh, this card. I, I mean, you, you can look at it and then you choose, okay? So here we go. Okay, this Jaguar is kind of bad as well. <laughs> it allows us to skip, but we will have to pay two health to do it. And I'm not, not a big fan of it at all. So yeah, I think I'll just place it right here for now. Now, again, I can choose if I can draw from the deck or from my hand. 